Hello guys, welcome to my channel Miss Recap. Today I am going to explain 2023 adventure comedy fantasy movie called Barbie. Once upon a time, they told us that girls have been playing with baby dolls forever. Along can Barbie and she is the boss lady. Barbie can be a doctor, a lawyer, even a politician. She has got it all. So they take us to this crazy place called Barbie Land. A total pink paradise where all the Barbie dolls live. And guess what? There are these dudes called Kens, the boys of Barbie Land. But it's all cool because everyone here is super independent and confident. They have got awesome jobs and they are all successful. The Kens just hang out at the beach, chilling and having a blast with their Barbies. But sometimes the Barbies get caught up in their own parties and forget about the Kens. Now our main Barbie wakes up in her world of make-believe. She takes a shower, grabs some grub and gets ready in a jiffy. She is off to the beach in her cool car. But here is the twist. Everything she had was fake, like a big toy set. Her car, house, clothes, everything. At the beach, everyone's having a blast. But Barbie realizes it's all just a toy world. It's like those toys you find in your own home. All the dudes from Barbie Land were hanging out here and they were like, Yo, what's up Barbie? So there was this one Ken who was totally into Barbie. He wanted to impress her, so he starts surfing. There is a water and he wipes out and gets hurt. Everyone starts cracking up at him. Later that night, all the Barbies hit up a party together. They are all singing and dancing, having a blast. Morning comes and Ken decides to shoot his shot again, proposing to Barbie. She is like, nah, I like you as a friend. They go back to partying, but Barbie is not feeling it. She can't enjoy herself and it's like she's about to croak or something. Everyone freaks out, but Barbie handles it like a boss. No drama. Next morning, life goes back to normal and Barbie is just doing her daily stuff. But whenever she thinks about going out, she feels weird again. Can't eat, can't jump, some things off. The other Barbies find out and tell her to meet this strange old Barbie, who might have some answers. Turns out that weird Barbie's appearance is messed up because some kid treated her badly in the real world. And guess what? The state of Barbie land and its inhabitants is connected to the minds of real world kids. So if kids are sad or unhappy, it reflects in Barbie land. Our main Barbie talks to the weird Barbie and she spills all the beans about this mind connection thing. Barbie tells her how she is struggling with a bunch of stuff because of this link between the two worlds. That's a lot to handle. The weird Barbie is all like, if you wanna fix all this stuff, you gotta go to the real world and make that girl who used to play with you happy. The one who is connected to you, you know? And she is all about freeing kids from stress which gets regular Barbie super pumped. Now, this Ken dude who is into our main Barbie sets a condition for all the cans, saying he will impress her and then sneaks into her car. But when he pops out of nowhere on the road, regular Barbie freaks out. She never thought someone would be in her car and there is this crazy accident. But don't worry, they are in Twilight, so no one's hurt. Barbie tells Ken to get out but he is stubborn and she ends up talking him along. Now they are in the real world and they look like just humans. But their clothes are totally weird. People are laughing at them and Ken starts bothering Barbie. She gets mad and punches him and whoops. Now they are both arrested for some serious charges. To get out of this mess, Barbie realizes they need to change their clothes because they are getting mocked. But since they are broke, they end up stealing clothes and get arrested again. Finally, after all that drama, Barbie gets focused on her real mission. She has to find that girl she is connected to. So she closes her eyes and thinks hard. She remembers the girl who used to have a blast playing with Barbie dolls. As time passed though, she grew up and got stressed about her studies and all these adult responsibilities. She forgot about Barbie completely and that's just not cool. But then, she learns about the real world where people have to do stuff they don't even want to do. That's really gets her emotional and tears start flowing. Meanwhile, Ken's out and about in the city and he notices something, it's dude world out there. Men are totally dominant and popular in their place. They are holding all the cool gigs, hitting the gym and riding horses like they own the place. Even most of the country's president are men, but Barbie's world, it's a whole different vibe. 
here it's all about girls power barbies rule the roost and they are calling the shots barbie decides to get some insight into the emotions of this world and she's learned a lot of from virtual novels she has been into plus she's connected with the girl who's got all these feelings so barbie tells ken to hit up the school where she used to study Meanwhile, there is this company that's behind the concept of Barbie dolls and when they find out Barbie and Ken have come to their real world, they totally freak out. They remember the chaos from the last time Barbie showed up and they are stressing out big time. But then there is the girl named Chloe who is all about these weird Barbie drawings she made. She wants to show them to the company employee but he is in a hurry to meet the big boss. He storms into the CEO office blabbing about Barbie and Ken's arrival and the CEO like gets them to my office pronto let's send them back to their world as soon as possible meanwhile Barbie and Ken are at the girls school Barbie's on the lookout for her mind connected friend and Ken's having a blast because they are boys everywhere and they are all strong and doing their own thing so our dude is feeling pretty special in this new world which is totally different from Barbie's land. He stumbles upon some books about man empowerment and gets all inspired by the progress men are making here. Meanwhile, Barbie finally meets the girl she is connected with, but it takes a wrong turn when the girl's friends start laughing at our girl. They bash her beauty standards and say nobody likes her in the real world. Barbie's heart broken and the metal company fox come to get her. Now Ken being all cunning and stuff decides to let Barbie go and head back to Barbie land. He wants to spill the beans about how men are ruling the real world. The girl's mom who turns out to be the same lady making these weird Barbie drawings at the metal office picks her up from school. When she hears the whole story, she gets pumped and starts chasing Barbie's car. It's like she loves Barbie more than her own daughter. Eventually, they bring Barbie in front of the metal company CEO. There is not a single woman running the show there. It's all men. Totally different from Barbie Land. When they are about to pack her bag in the Barbie box, our smart Barbie pulls a move, pretends to need the bathroom, and make a run for it. Everyone's after her, but she sneaks into a room where an old lady is chilling. Man thinks just got even more interesting. It turns out that the lady who came to chill with Barbie is actually the one who came up with the whole concept of Barbie. Barbie feels all warm and fuzzy chatting with her. The people who were after Barbie show up again, but the old lady comes to the rescue with a sneaky plan. She tells Barbie a secret escape route, and off she goes, leaving the chasers behind. Just when Barbie thinks she is in the clear, Glory rolls up in her car like a boss. Without a second thought, Barbie jumps in and Glory speeds away, leaving the chasers in the dust. During their ride, they have a heart to heart and it turns out that Glory is the true owner of Barbie, not the girl she was connected with. Glory was so into Barbies that she kept one with her all the time. Her drawings of Barbie's sad times had a real impact on her Barbie back in Barbie land. Those pesky people are after them again. So Barbie's like, let's go to Barbie land and Glory's all in, no hesitation. Next thing you know, they are in Barbie land and Barbie and Glory are having a blast. Glory's daughter is amazed to see her mom so happy because she is never seen her like that before. But here is the twist, Barbie land and what it used to be. Everything's changed and the cans are calling the shots now. They have hypnotized all the Barbies and have big plans to rule the place. Barbie's house is taken over by Ken and even the name's been changed. It's a real mess. And gets this, the changes in Barbie land are impacting the real world too. People there are going gaga over Ken, buying all his stuff like t-shirts, toys and whatnot. It's like Ken mania has taken over. So Barbie's like, what's the deal with all this, Ken? And Ken's like, listen, I went to the real world. And dear, men get mad respect. You never gave me that kind of respect. So we are changing things up here. Here is the crazy part. All the other Barbies are doing stuff for Ken. And they are like totally fine with it under some weird spell or something. Barbies not have any of it. And she blames Glory for all this mess. She's like, you made those drawings and everything went downhill from there. Glory tries to explain that change is part of life and we got to deal with it. But Barbie is not having it. She is on the floor crying her eyes out. 
Meanwhile, in the real world, all the other Barbies are looking sad and the girls are not too thrilled to play with them. Glory and her daughter decide to head back to their world and as they start singing surprise, the song switches to one of Ken's annoying tunes. Then out of nowhere, this boy Alan pops up, not Ken. Both Glory and Barbie are scared silly, but luckily this is a joy world. So no harm done. Alan tells them he is not a fan of Ken's shenanigans and wants to go to the human world to find his true value. Some folks try to stop them on their way, and Alan gets into a scuffle. In the midst of all this, Glory realizes she is making a mistake by leaving. She can't let this happen to Barbie because of her. There are four Barbies in Barbie Land who are still free from Ken's control, and they are all like, okay, we gotta do something about this mess. Time for some epic Barbie rebellion. While all this was going on, Glory shows up and drops some truth bombs on everyone. She is like, you Barbies don't need to be perfect all the time. Just be yourself, that's enough. And Barbie totally digs what Glory is saying. But now the big question is, what's the plan? Then Glory comes in clutch with a genius idea. She is like, let's spill the beans to all the Barbies about who they really are. Meanwhile, we all are trick the cans and beat them to the elections. So they all get to work. First, they bring in President Barbie to remind her of her roots and what she's become. Then they decide to outsmart the cans by creating distraction and cures, making them fight each other while they sneak off to the assembly early. Main Barbie goes to the can who caused all the trouble and she is all like, hey, let's be buddies. So they all hang out having a good time but then the barbie switches gears and head over to the other cans cut the jealousy and drama this was all part of the plan next morning when the cans finally remember its election day they rush to the assembly only to find out that all the positions have already been taken by the barbies the barbies turned their home into a wonderland and showed the cans who is boss the cans are shocked now the real can is angry and starts fighting with our barbie but in the end, he breaks down and cries. That's when Barbie comes in like a boss and apologizes for everything they went down. She's like, dude, you don't need to control us to be valued. You have got worth. Recognize it. The can apologizes too. Everybody starts making up, realizing that the cans are not just there to be Barbie's sidekicks. They have got their own identities and deserves respect. So during the talks, the metal company folks were all like, no way Barbie, stay away from the human world. But then they decide to cut off Barbie's world from the human one. Poor Barbie does not say much, but she's all like, go Barbie. She thinks it's cool that she gets to make her own choices, but here is the twist. Before Barbie can say a word, this wise old lady from the real world shows up and drops some serious knowledge on her. She takes Barbie on a journey of self-discovery, making her think about his stuff. Barbie tells the old lady that she can totally live a regular life if she wants. She can be a mom and all that, just like any other person. While they talk, Barbie's mind is buzzing with thoughts and ideas, but in the end, she gets the power to choose what she wants for herself. She decides she's done with dull life. She wants to be a real human being instead. Everyone's cool with her choice and guess what? All the cans and Barbies get to come to the human world too. So Barbie's super excited on her first day in the human world and everyone's cheering her on. She heads to the hospital and we figure out that she dreams of being a mom like any regular girl. Now she is starting her new normal life and that's where our story ends. Thanks for watching if you like it so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.